out here by Brennan Stimson. Bam! Right there on the chin, and he is out. Uh, my name's Adam Atiyah. I fight at 185 and 205. He's got a dirty boxing style. Hails from area unknown. We're starting at the bottom where the Escalade begins, and one day we're going to be at the top where they end. This is the Archangel, Adam Atiyah. Uh, it started for me since the beginning, since I was a kid. But just like everyone else in life, we're all fighters in the one way or another, whether you know you're fighting for life because you got cancer, or whether your mother fighting for your kids, or whether your father that's trying to raise money to protect his family, we're all fighters in one way or another. So you know, for me, uh, fighting started you know right at the beginning. You know, I always was a guy that was in the streets, and I always was an adrenaline junkie. So just like Mike Tyson, you know, uh, when he was a kid fighting his way, that's how it was for me. The foster kids lived down the block. And uh, I always liked uh, getting into him. I always liked to say I was going to be the heavyweight champ of the world when I was a kid. And uh, it just followed me up through. You know, I come from a history of uh, great athletes. My uncle started off for me. My Uncle Joe being the first man to win a silver medal Olympics for Syria. Uncle George was a two-time state champ, played at football at LSU and with the Philadelphia Eagles. Dad was a state champ, Uncle Abe runner up. My uncle Sonny was a pimp drug dealer, but was the toughest out of all, just couldn't uh, keep his life together. And on my mom's side as well, I had a great athletes, uh, you know, my Uncle Tim and Uncle Mike. So, you know, I've, I've definitely been blessed in that, that aspect. Leopard trucks, Adam Mattia. What a right hand by Adam Mattia. I believe everything's about becoming a better man. Everything in life's about, you know, becoming the person that you're meant to become. And I say, I'm not doing this for you, I'm doing this for me, because it's not a matter of me satisfying your needs, it's a matter of me satisfying myself, because I live underneath my skin at the end of the day, and that's what life's about. I gotta face myself in the mirror, and that's why I do it, because it helps me become a better man. Every time I step in that cage, I gotta fight my own insecurities, and I do that each and every time, and I'm enjoying it, because I see myself growing as a man, and I can't thank God enough for that. And the strength, the sheer physical power of Adam Atiyah is certainly taking into play right now. I said I wanted to be a gangster because those were the people I liked, you know, because I saw it just like Scarface said, you know, money, power, and then you get the girls, and then, you know, all these things. That's how I looked at life. You know, I struggled a whole lot, man. Uh, I started off dealing, I did that a lot of cocaine in my time. Found a lot of cocaine, too. It was my girlfriend, my best friend. It was my everything, man. If my girl was naked in the room next to me, I'd be one more wine, one more minute, and I'd be over there, never going to see her. So drugs became all that I knew and my best friend. You know, and if there was a successful way of doing it, I would still be using drugs. You know, because I wanted to live in Fantasy Island world, almost like in The Wizard of Oz, how Dorothy goes off into, you know, fantasy world and finds all the people and everything else. It's more colorful, but then when you come back to reality, it's black and white. You know, I didn't know how to live life on life's terms, you know, so I always wanted an escape, you know, and that's how I found that escape was doing that. And MMA kind of changed the card for me, but most importantly, you know, was going to prison and the people that came in my life, you know, that gave me the source of a, another way of using uh, my emotions, you know. He is a guy where, you know, he's going to keep coming at you nonstop. After I went through that part of my life, you know, everything else kind of just fell into place. The main guys that have been in my corner is Will Miranda, you know, a great guy, you know, professional boxer, and Dave Hamilton, who I went, met out of some of the prison programs, who sparred with Bernard Hopkins and has been a, a great friend in my life. You know, I believe training, you gotta keep it like a relationship. You can't let it get stale. You gotta keep it green. So I constantly believe in doing new things. I keep the repetition going and consistency doing it so you build those neural pathways in your brain. But you know, I switch it up. One day I'm doing the hammers. The next day I'm running, you know, boxing, uh, jitsu. You know, you switch it up.
My goal in my career, of course, is to be the champ, you know, to make it to UFC. Otherwise, I want to be doing this. Uh, you know, I don't believe in half measures. I don't believe in just going into anything half heartedly because it gets you nowhere. Either you go all in or all out. That's how life is, you know. When I see, and that's how I see myself. I see myself being there, just like Weidman put it, you know, uh, for him. I put a picture of Jesus on my wall. I, I put a picture of the people I look up to, and uh, I picture myself being there one day. And I see that in a great way, but like I said before, I see myself becoming a great person, you know, and that's what I'm amazed, you know, doing for me. It's like uh, this story a guy told me that I was in penitentiary, you know, up and down all over the East Coast. You know, I, I didn't want to talk to the guy. We had nothing in common. I was like, I don't want to live like you, man. You've been all over, shot and gangs, this and that. Uh, uh, you know, get away from me. The guy kept on bothering me, kept coming up to me. He's like, you know, you know, young buck, I got a story for you. And I finally gave in to listen to him. He says, you know, once there was a man, once there was a boy. The man gave the boy a giant puzzle, and on one side of the puzzle was a picture of God, on the other side of the puzzle was a picture of the world. The man gave it to the boy, expecting it to take him months and months, even years to finish, because no one before him had ever finished in any less time than that. But somehow the boy came back in a few days. You know, he finished it. And the man said, what's your secret? You know, how'd you finish this? I never saw anyone doing any less time than you. And uh, the boy said, listen, sir, there's no secret. After I put the picture of God in the place, the rest of the world fell in the place. And that's how I just can speak about my life. And that's how it came together with MMA, too. You know, and the rest of my life's coming together. Regardless if I win or lose in that cage, if I gave it all I got, I can live. Like I said, it's the man in the mirror. I'm the one that sleeps underneath my skin at night. And it's a matter of giving it all you got. I promise you, if I get on that treadmill, I'm, I'm gonna either go on till I die or, or I'm falling off. That's how it's gonna be. And that's how I'm living my life. Like I said, all in or all out. And that's what this gives me the outlet to do. You know, cause I was the same way with drugs. I was never afraid to die, but I was afraid to live. Now, you know, I like to live. I don't want to die yet. You know, I'm available in uh, any way. I want to get into acting one day, I'm motivational speaking. Uh, I would like to get into pro wrestling as well. Uh, of course, the fighting, the fighting, one day be a preacher. You know, whatever happens, you know, I just keep giving all I got. But, you know, I like to keep it open-minded and uh, just keep living a life of love, you know. Please welcome Adam I want to thank you, Mike, you know, uh, for giving me the opportunity to do this. You've been a blessing in my life. You know, I want to thank Dave Hamilton, Will Miranda, everyone that's been by my side, my sponsors, of course, my mom for having me, and most importantly, God. You know, uh, we'll do another sponsor video sometime because I don't want to mention uh, not everybody at once and have someone left out. You know, but I got to thank my family, my friends, and everyone that keeps sticking by me through the ups and downs because that's how life is, and that's another reason why I like MMA because you just never know how it's going to be, ups and downs.